So what we have here is the back of an actual dryer. We ripped it apart and reconfigured it so we can actually demonstrate our lint alert calibration and installation, along with making sure that the product syncs up with our mobile app under the Protected Pro brand. If we look at our phone, what we'll actually do within the Protected Pro app is go to Add Devices here, and you'll see a few options. Well, one thing we're gonna look at today is adding a Lint Alert Pro Plus. This will provide us six steps to actually get the device installed most of which is the basic uh, installation of the device itself, cleaning the duct, poking a hole in the transition duct, installing our tap fitting, tightening the tubing on the tap fitting, and trimming the tube at the bottom to make sure there's no bending or sagging. Lastly is when we want to actually integrate the Wi-Fi connectivity with our Lint Alert device. And as you'll see in the app, it's asking us to press the uh, side buttons on our Lint Alert, which are located right here. You'll see a circle and a square button, and based on those instructions, we are going to press the circle once and hold the square for about three seconds. One, two, three. Afterwards, we will toggle over to our settings and connect over to our Wi-Fi signal we just launched called Lintalert underscore web, just like we see here, Lintalert underscore web. Once we do that, you'll see a check mark appear next to Lintalert web. And what we want to make sure is that this little LTE icon actually converts over to the Wi-Fi visual array, at which point that lets us know that our Lint Alert actually was now communicating on a Wi-Fi platform with this phone. Once we see that Wi-Fi array, the app will automatically advance and take us into the next step of the Wi-Fi connection. And I'll go ahead and toggle over to the app so we can actually see that take place as well as soon as that does connect from LTE over to Wi-Fi. Once it's done that, we want to go and take a look at the local SSIDs or local network names that you see available. In our office, we have this one here, and I'm going to go ahead and now enter our network's password. Once you've entered your password, leave all the prompts as is and go ahead and press commit. Once you've hit commit, the app will automatically advance and toggle over. And even if you look inside the Lint Alert array, you'll start to see some visual changes here and eventually it'll go from a yellow light into a steady green light which is what we're looking for within the unit and you'll see that appear in just a moment as well. The screen is now telling us that it is verifying the connection. Inside our Lint Alert here, if you can actually see inside there, there's a little green LED now which is perfect and the device itself, our app is asking us now to calibrate the Lint Alert itself. So pardon the noise, we're actually going to turn the dryer on. On. Now we can see some added pressure in our system. We have about 0.40 water column inches of pressure. And I'm going to go ahead and calibrate now our Lint Alert for 2.40 water column inches. Holding the button in for about 7 seconds, the lights will illuminate 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And letting go, you will see the diagnostic pressure check of 3 LEDs blinking. Back on our app. It'll automatically advance from calibration. It is now telling us we are done. And just to confirm that we're all set, we see that the dryer's on. And I'm gonna click on this device and now we actually will have a magnahelic gauge readout of this specific unit. We have 0.411 water column inches on our app. And if you toggle back down over here, we have the exact same thing. This is telling us that this Lint Alert is all set and ready for that customer.